Hey guys, I'm here with Mark Levinson from Me Loves Reef, and I'm sure you guys have seen some of his videos or been on his website. He's very helpful in this hobby, and he is the guest speaker today at the CMAS Frag Swap. He's talking about what to do when emergency strikes, and that's a big topic. I personally have had a lot of subscribers ask me that exact question, so Mark, good to see you. And uh, I can't believe how tall you are. I know, it's unbelievable. It's uh, like you need a whole new channel. <laughs> So yeah, Mark's going to give a little synopsis, hopefully, of what he's going to be talking about today. Well, when you run a reef tank, there's a chance of something going wrong. And so my presentation deals specifically with what to do in an emergency. And that could just be a tank leaking, it could be a pump failing, uh, it could be livestock in distress. And so I go and I cover some of those areas in the presentation today. Awesome. Do you have any tips when you are out of town, what to do with your tank before you leave, or... You know, just tips for when you're not going to be home for a week or two weeks. Yeah, absolutely. It would be really important that you go ahead and get a tank set or set up in advance and have them come see you like a day or two before the trip to really review everything right. in the aquarium. Like, this is where things are, this is where we do, this is what I've set aside for you. Here are the towels, here's the circuit breaker panel. We right. really try to get them, get them to lay in the lights. Yeah. And that way, if something's acting weird, here's what you can text me. Send me a picture because now everyone has a smartphone. Uh, send me a, a video clip of what you think is wrong. Uh, it's just communication and having backup in case that person can't go. Can someone else go? Can your key be moved to the next person? You know where they can meet. Because I've had that done where someone who wasn't available from they had an emergency and they went to tank center. Right. So I had someone else go. Uh, for me, I've had a bunch of terrible experiences with teenage friends coming over and, you know, me not going through and explaining to them. Teenagers. And uh, the average teenager, believe it or not, is not into reef aquariums as much as I am. A big question I get is, like, with the power outage, how many hours do you have before, you know, fishing pool house starts deteriorating, before, you know, bad, bad stuff starts happening in the tank? If you have a deep sand bed, it sucks up the oxygen really quickly. And you could lose it within an hour. But if you have a shallow sand bed or no sand bed, it takes them a little longer. And what's going to happen, it's not the corals themselves, it's the fish. They're breathing oxygen. I've seen where our tanks have no electricity for a while, and the fish are suffering, and all the corals are beautiful. You're like, wow, yeah. they just don't seem to need as much air. So having air pumps or a generator, these are the two things that I would definitely get going. I run Vortec pumps and they are connected to a battery all the time. So the power blinks out, the battery backup kicks it off. This is a cool little video, guys. Check out Milo Therese's YouTube channel. I'm going to put a link to his channel below. And also, there should be some button here. I don't know, but just click on it, and it'll take you to his channel. He's going to be an awesome guest speaker, so I'm excited for that. Thanks so much for talking to me. Thanks so much. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching my video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and to watch the other two videos from this event.